It is time now for the Peter Shell sign off news for this. Early Thursday morning, May 14th, 2015. And just for the Peter Channel signs up tonight. An overnight look at the latest news and lines here. Peter Wiggins and your news and lines here. Top story here at 209 in the morning time on this early Thursday morning is in Philadelphia where an Amtrak train that had derailed in Philadelphia killing seven people and injuring more than 200 West Berlin into a curved stretch to track at 100 plus miles per hour. Tries the speed limit when the engineer slammed on the brakes. In Kabul, Afghanistan, the Taliban have claimed a late night attack on Kabul guest house that killed five people, including an American and wounded at least six. In Seoul, the latest account of a brutal political execution in North Korea prompted a familiar question yes, but true, is it alleged a liberation of Defense Minister Hyung Young Choi by anti aircraft guns? There's where Evidence is suggested is and flags at the Venezuela City Hall flew at half mass today after the Kintex factory fire on Wednesday. The Venezuela City Hall flew its flags at half mass on Thursday as firefighters recovered more bodies of the workers trapped. UN Chief Ban Ki Moon has Condemned the terrorist attack in Pakistan, which killed 45 Shia Ismaili Muslims, saying that the country must uphold its obligations and commitments toward protecting in its citizens, including all minorities. Vatican City, the Vatican concluded its first treaty that formally recognizes the state of Palestine, a move that gives legal weight to the Holy See, years long recognition, and that drew fast criticism from supporters of Israel. Search teams scouted into the floor of the Indian Ocean for the missing Malaysia Airway Alliance flight. 370 had come across some records just considerably older than the airliner, which disappeared in March 2014. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reached China on Thursday morning on a three day visit during which he will hold summit talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping on a range of issues, including the festering border dispute and China's plans for infrastructure. A bill that would add the National Security Agency's mass collection of phone records won broad support in the U.S. House on Wednesday, but a key Republican leaders in the Senate remain unconvinced in the need for reform and as a crucial deadline's approaches. Four of the leaders have voted at Bend Beach drinking during the month for March to Panama City Beach as a part of a larger crackdown on spring break partying. A fifth suspect has been arrested in connection with the killings of two Mississippi police officers over the weekend, officials said Wednesday. The fragility of Baltimore's economy was exposed by a Freddie Gray's drift during the form of spinal injury several while in police custody. UBS Group AG faces the prospect of making a guilty plea that would require it along with forever. John Global Banks A problem the Ministry of Staff and the nation's NABs a trend worsen both to be keepers of the farmers who depend on the insects to pollinate their crops apparently worse than last year. For the first time, a large study suggests that a vitamin might modestly lower the risk of the most common types of skin cancer in people with a history of these relatively harmless yet troublesome growths. Peter Chell News on 2.13, time for Sports News here. The Boston Red Sox yesterday afternoon defeated the Oakland Athletics. 9-2. Other scores by the Major League. Oh, fouls! In sports news here, the Boston Red Sox blank the Oakland Athletics. 2 to nothing in, in Oakland. Other scores by the Major Leagues. Washington Nationals over the Arizona Diamondbacks. 9-6. Cleveland Indians blank the St. Louis Cardinals. 2 to nothing. Both Royals over the Toronto Blue Jays. 6-1. For the Phillies over the Pittsburgh Parks, 3-2. Minnesota Twins over the Detroit Tigers, 6-2. Cincinnati Reds over the Atlanta Braves, 5-1. Tampa Bay Rays over the New York Yankees, 3-2. Miami Mons over the Los Angeles Dodgers, 5-4. Chicago Cubs and New York Mets, 2-1. Texas Rangers over the Kansas City Royals, 5-2. Chicago White Sox, 4. Milwaukee Brewers, 2. Houston Astros, 4. San Francisco Giants, 3. Los Angeles Angels, 2. Chicago Rockies, 1. And San Diego Padres, 4. Seattle Mariners, 2. And speaking of the Seattle Mariners, the Red Sox will be out in Seattle for a four-game weekend series beginning later tonight against the Seattle Mariners.
in NHL, the New York Rangers are moving on to the Eastern Conference. Finals after defeating the Washington Capitals in overtime in Madison Square Garden last night, 2-1. to one. NBA scores here. Atlanta Hawks take a three games to two lead in this best of seven series with a 8-2-A1 victory over the Washington Wizards in Atlanta while the Gold State Warriors up three games to two with a 98-78 victory over the Memphis Grizzlies here. And ML Soccer Action, DC 9-2, Orlando City 1. Okay, Peter Chell News Time is now 2.15 and 7 out for Trevor Report here. And 2.95 on the South Fun, South Fun side. A little slow from Route 1 in North Amber to the Red Island border. Route 3 on the North Fun side. Slow from Segbo all the way out to Plymouth to do some road work on Route 3. But otherwise, a smooth sailing commute here in Route 3 on the South Fun side. A little slow from Nashua and Ramsey all the way out to Chelmsford, from Massachusetts, Route 2, Westbound, a little slow in Fitchburg here. And 190 in the Northman side, a little slow from before Route 2 in Lemonster here. 120, a little slow from Gloucester all the way out to Beverly. But otherwise, a smooth sailing commute here on the highways, byways of New England here on this early Thursday morning here. And now, on your weather here, under the weather forecast here on this. Early Thursday morning here. Okay. Okay, on the way here, we are under a frost advisory effect from now until 7 a.m. this morning here. As frost advisory effect from now to 7 a.m. means the daylight time Thursday, as location Eastern Amity County in Connecticut as well portions of Midwest and Interstate 495 corridor Massachusetts, particularly outside of urban centers. Temperatures in the mid 30s and time and late tonight and tomorrow morning here, which is Timing is this morning here as impacts areas of frost may damage tender vegetation here. Precaution prepares actions here. A frost advisory is issued when frost is expected to develop during the growing season and those with agriculture interests are advised that harvest or protect their tender vegetation. Also potted plants normally left outdoors should be covered or brought inside away from the cold here. Day one that frost advisory early this morning here. All right. 7 day forecast will go like this here. Overnight, most of the clear sky, low about 39 degrees. Like northwest wind. For Thursday, south sky is about 71 degrees. Northwest wind about 6 miles an hour here. For Thursday, clear sky, low about 42 degrees. South wind about 5 to 9 miles becoming common in the evening here. For Friday, increased clouds high about 74 degrees. Calm wind becoming westbound 5 miles by the afternoon. For Friday, increased clouds with a chance of showers. Mainly after 2 a.m., most of the sky is low about 51 degrees. Southwest wind about 3 to 5 miles by a chance of precipitation of 30%. Saturday, chance of showers. Most of the sky skies are about 71, about 53 degrees, and chance of precipitation 35 percent. For Sunday, chance of showers. Most of the sky skies are about 70, low about 50 degrees, and chance of precipitation 30 percent. Monday, part of the sky skies are about 70 degrees. Monday night, chance of showers. Most of the sky skies are about 51 degrees, chance of precipitation 30 percent. Tuesday, chance of showers. Most of the sky skies are about 73, low about 51 degrees, chance of precipitation 30 percent. And for Wednesday, most of the skies are about 72 degrees. Not in temperature, say 38 degrees for first guys. That is going to be by the Peter Channel. Stop news on this early Thursday morning, May 14, 2015. Peace to have a good night with a good Friday attitude, and I'll see you.
later this morning for the Peter Channel Morning News. Have a good night, and I'll see you later on. Good night.